my grandfather also taught us, uh, he didn't know it, the uh, difference, the sacred versus the profane. He would lean over all of the kids to make us laugh. He was a nice man. He smelled from his uh, Shlivovitz and his uh, cigars that were terrible. And he would tell us that, uh, and, and here, here's how we learn, that that day at the quartermaster with the other pants pressers, he, my grandmother packed him a lunch. It was Passover, matzah, piece of gefilte fish, chopped liver, a boiled egg, uh, the horseradish, and he traded it with his co-worker Giuseppe. Giuseppe got all the Jewish food, and my grandfather got a gabagool hoagie. Gabagool is a kind of a ham with cheese, and, and he, and he's making the kids laugh, and he's saying, shh, don't tell grandma, don't tell grandma. So I learned the difference sacred from profane. Same thing in my fa father's family, they were kosher. In their houses, they had the multiple sets of dishes. If you used the wrong knife, it was buried in the backyard. And they, they were kosher, and the food was kosher, and they didn't mix meat with milk. However, there was kryptonite in their lives. On Sunday, they'd go to Chinatown, and they would eat shrimp. Never pork, but shrimp was kryptonite. Soon as it came out, they lost all of their ethnic identity. But what does that teach children? It teaches you that you can stretch, you can be flexible, you can do all of those kinds of uh, things.